We're black guys who date white girls. Of course her father calls me boy. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course I lost everything in the divorce. Fuck! We're black guys who date white girls. Of course I'm a D1 athlete. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course I let her say the N-word when we're at home. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course I refer to it as the N-word. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course I need someone to obey me. We're black guys who date white girls. I've been to Bonnaroo at least a dozen times. We're black guys who date white girls. My breath, no matter what, stinks. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course I got fired as Kang the Conqueror in the MCU. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course she tells her friends it's big. We're black guys who date white girls. I've been called everything from sellout to Uncle Ruckus to Coon. But what I've never been called is attractive. Yo, these dudes is wilding over here. And just to, if you look at uh, the white girl's faces while this is going on, it's straight up comedy here, guys, man. Like, what's funny is my man who said, my breath stinks, <laughs> no matter what, Bonnaroo. Why is it that it's always a problem when the bros want to date the buddies, man? Anyway, let's get on to the next clip. Let's go. All right, TikTok, it's time for us to have a serious conversation. Black dudes that only date white women, and no, I'm not talking about black dudes who include white women in their dating pool. I'm talking about the <laughs> who exclusively date them. They're delusional. <laughs> me personally, I don't give a who you do until you include me in your delusions. <laughs> Back when I was in the Air Force, I had this cold. Anytime we talking about girls that we like, he goes above and beyond to celebrate his white queens. More up and down, they're more beautiful, more feminine than any other race of women. Now, a group of us decided to go downtown one good time. And he brings his girl. Let me try to say this in the most polite way I possibly can. Shorty looked like a linebacker. If we were to get into a fight that night, I'ma need her to back me up the only way I feel safe. But you know, I'm not about to just give my opinion unsolicited. Treat her like she part of the group. So throughout the night, he he starts drinking. And I don't know if his girl's over here giving me the eyes or some shit. This man gonna pull me to the side and demand that I show his relationship some respect because he thinks I'm trying to get at his girl. My brother in Christ, you can keep her. <laughs> My boy was so pressed out with some alabaster buns that he scraped the bottom of the barrel and think every other m he got standards that low. <laughs> I was shocked. I was appalled. How f dare you, honestly? Now, just getting you a white girl is one thing. Pedestalizing them is another thing. But to get one of the most busted ones, then try to flaunt her around like she's better than any other woman that we brought because she lacks some melanin. And then having the audacity to think that anybody wants to steal her from me. Delusional. My brother in Christ, seek psychiatric help. Why black men want white women? They want somebody to obey, do what they say, go by their rules. And they think a white woman gonna do it. No matter what color she is, she's still a woman. It all depends on what kind of woman you get, black or white. See, these black men, they be watching these movies, right? Whatever they see on a movie, they think they can get in real life. Just because she white, that don't mean she gonna take care of you. That don't mean she gonna let you lay up all day and don't pay no bills. That don't mean you gonna sit and play the game all day and watch TV. That don't mean you gonna use her car, she gonna buy you a car, you gonna have a happy life. Some of y'all men want to be children. You look grown, you look old, but your heart is a child. That's why y'all be throwing these temper tantrums when you can't get in it. You got no patience, no understanding. When a woman can't do it, she can't do it. When you can't do something, you can't do it, right? So what make you so special? I'm just being honest. I ain't talking about nobody. Did what I heard. One black guy told me that white girl let you do whatever. Let you do whatever. Have your way. So white women, is it true? Yeah, I don't know. But I didn't hear some black guy tell me that. So I know y'all didn't walk around here doing everything for these men for free. And you ain't getting nothing back. Let me know what y'all think I do. Now, I've covered this topic at length, guys. And this is one thing that the sisters always say. The bros want to get with these white girls because these white girls will do anything. They can get away with whatever. These white girls will take care of them. They can drive the car and all this other stuff. But listen, it's the same way with some sisters, too. Y'all take care of dudes. The dude get away with a lot of stuff. You may put up a lot more of a uh, fight in terms of complaining about the situation, but it's just the same thing. Now, another stereotype is that the bros tend to get with, as the guy said in the previous video, they as long as she has white skin or as long as she's white, they don't care if she's a BBW, heavyset, 
if she's dusty, musty, homeless, as long as she's white. Because some people say, regardless, as long as you have white skin in America, or even in the world, you're above everyone else. So a bro, and I don't think it's by accident a lot of times that a lot of brothers get with white women, or especially when they make it, they get with a light-skinned woman. You really don't see too often bros with uh, dark-skinned women when they get some money. Unfortunately, that it's that way, but... Hey, it is what it is. A lot of bros get with these BBWs, and it's usually the rejects that white men don't want. It's like what this guy is getting at. When you got a little change, you're successful. The white women are taught to go after the bag. They're going to go after the bag, and that's the only way you'll be allowed in the family, is if you can pass on generational wealth and those things like that. But let's get on to this next clip here and see what this guy right here is talking about. Let's go. Bro, it do not look like I like white girls. It don't. What do what do that look like? I'ma tell you what type of black dudes like white girls. Those the ones that talk it just like this. Yeah, those black guys like white girls. You know the dudes that wear the hats like this and put their glasses on the back of their hats. Them like white girls. Any brother that wear open toe sandals like white women. Any black man that drive this type of truck like white women. Any black man that like the Green Bay Packers like white women. If it's a black athlete playing a sport at a high level in college, best believe he gonna go get him a white girl. He could be at a HBCU and still go go find one. If he listen to Tyler, the creator, and anybody else like him, he like white women. If he listens to country music, he like what? Damn, I listen to country music. That don't mean I like white women. Just because my baby mama is white and I had a hybrid don't mean I like white women. Dude. Man, I would say a lot of those things, even though when it comes down to country music, the truck, you talk in a certain way, a lot of sisters see it as that based off how a brother talks. If a brother talks a certain way, which I've covered this in the past when I had Tina Summers on the show, she said that if a black man talks proper or has that high-pitched nasally voice, she's going to automatically assume that he won't be into her and that he likes white girls. And a lot of black women don't want to deal with guys, black men, who seem to be like they date white girls. But hey, it's just what it is. A lot of times, these stereotypes tend to be true. Generalizations tend to be true when it comes to things like that. And it's all good fun and comedy, in my opinion, But just to see some of these things going on. But hey, you like what you like at the end of the day. I think there was even a clip about Jim Jones, which I, I think I saved it, where he was talking about this whole situation in terms of you love who you love at the end of the day, which is true. But if you're looking at being with someone as being better, then there's definitely an internal issue, maybe something that you need to work on or you need to reevaluate within yourself. A lot of you brothers out there will get with white women because you feel like they're more pretty, they're more feminine, and they're more submissive, and you can do what you want, and she'll listen to whatever. That's a lot of things that bros tend to say, but let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. It helps to support the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. With that being said, much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. It's your favorite everything. This is Wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace.